Hello there, my name is Richard Kay. I'm CEO for Champion Ball Bearing out of Palm Springs, California. We manufacture rotary and linear ball bearings with specialty seals, coatings, and our lubrication characteristics. Want to save over a million barrels of petroleum a year by simply changing to a more efficient ball bearing and machinery? Sounds good to be true, but it's possible with new materials available today. Tribology, the science of friction and wear. If we look at the surface finish of a metal ball or race very closely, peaks and valleys appear over these surfaces. It is the job of fluid lubricants to fill in these valleys with an incombustible fluid, such as oil and grease, to prevent peaks on a ball from contacting peaks on a race. If contact occurs, the area of contact is so small that a pressure of over a million pounds per square inch occurs with a small force on the ball or race. This pressure causes cold welding between the ball and race, which is easily broken by the inertia of the system, but causes heat. This condition, if allowed to repeat itself, causes failure of the fluid lubricants and heats up further and eventually causes failure of the ball bearing. Ceramics, siliconitride or zirconia, overcome this problem by eliminating cold welding. Ceramic balls can't weld to ceramic races. Ceramic bearings with ceramic balls and races do not require oil or grease. This concept, when applied to the ceramic bearing, results in, number one, longer life, number two, reduction in energy consumption, and number three, the ability to operate in extreme environments and temperatures. Comparison tests were made between several all-metal bearings. They were tested and compared to a Teflon seal bearing with a Teflon retainer, zirconia races, and silicone nitride balls. An all-ceramic bearing, photo attached, shows the test fixture, which was taken up to 5,000 RPM with an external drive. And was then disengaged. Time and RPM were recorded with a digital camera. Bearing tests were made on a 1 quarter by 5 ace OD ABEC-1 ball bearing. Each bearing was tested using the same apparatus and procedure. The angular deacceleration is the slope of the speed versus time graph. The rotational inertia of the flywheel was calculated from its dimensions. A graph of torque versus RPM was constructed, see graph 2, and a graph of power versus RPM was then constructed, see graph 3. At 3000 RPM, the ceramic bearing saved 1.25 watts of power. If this is an average bearing running 8 hours a day, 7 days a week, 52 weeks a year, there would be a savings of 1.3 million barrels of oil a day. This is based on a Federal Trade Commission report stating that there are over 600 million bearings in use in the United States today. Conclusion a popular misconception is that by adding grease or oil to a ball bearing it will go faster when in truth the opposite is true. It will slow it down. Why? To put it simply, kinematic viscosity.